Yo, what's going on guys? Chris Barner here, Overtime Athletes. I wanna share with you guys two drills today, uh, two upper body exercises or arm pump drills to make you faster. Most of the uh, move videos that I do are more pertaining to uh, whether it be mechanics or getting your legs stronger to run faster. And here's what I wanna share is two drills to with the upper body. Most people don't realize, but uh, longer lever equals more power. It's just physics. So what I like to do is I like to teach the athlete how to mechanically and efficiently pump their arms so that they ultimately run faster. And what I use usually do, it is common that I'll tell an athlete to in place jog and at a slow pace try to uh, run or pump your arms a little bit faster and see if your legs don't start moving faster and all this is demonstrating is the fact that the faster you pump your arms the faster your legs are going to move so the first drill that i do when i'm teaching an athlete is more mechanical so what i'll tell the athlete to do is go ahead and sit on your butt shannon for me Good. What I'm trying to do here is get big thoracic extension. Pretend you have a hook right underneath your sternum and you're pulling up so the athlete is completely upright. And what I want to do from here is I want to teach the athlete to have one hand at the front cheek and one hand at the back cheek. What I often like to say is you have your hand in your back holster here, right? So he's shooting it straight from here and then the front hand comes up. What this allows the athlete to do is I don't want them to just bend across the elbow joint. I actually want them to get mobility in the shoulder and that's what really works with the posterior sling system to make their uh, movement efficient. So from here, I'm just breaking this movement down and teaching the athlete on my go. Shane is just gonna go one at a time, getting as tall as you possibly can. Ready, go. Ready, go. Ready, go. Then what I'll do is I'll switch this into two. So now I'm gonna have the athlete go twice. Ready, go. Ready, go. Good, other side, go ahead and switch arms. Ready, go. Good, ready, go. Good, and then I can move this into five seconds and where I say go and the athlete goes for five seconds and you really wanna see him bounce on his, on his butt essentially. That really makes him utilize the core and stabilizes the core while he's pumping his arms. The next drill that we're gonna do, Shay, go ahead and get on your knee for me. What I like to do with this drill is I really like to teach the athlete to one, get the range of motion I'm looking for and then break it down and be able to arm pump properly. So sitting as tall as you possibly can. What I want Shane to do is Shane, you're gonna go ahead and get me on my first go, you're just gonna go ahead and get the mobility. From there, we're gonna break it down 90 degrees at the elbow. We're gonna go cheek to cheek every single one. And then on, my, on the last one, I'm gonna say stop and you can just go ahead and stop the drill. So what I like to do here guys, for as far as setup, like I said, uh, what I like here is when he's on one knee, I want his power leg up. His power leg is essentially the leg that he starts a race with. So if you're right-handed, typically your left leg is gonna be up and like you see here with him. So ready and go. Good, wide, big, big strides, big strides, big strides. Ready, go. Pump, 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 stop. Good, and what this allows the athlete to do is really to efficiently learn how to arm pump, really keep the core tight so he's not switching or rotating, if you will. He's being able to efficiently pump his arms. Those are two arm pump drills to teach you how to run faster. I'll watch you guys next time. Yo, what's going on, fellas? Thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in getting faster as an athlete, go ahead and click my advanced series right here where I provide you with free lessons to make you become faster. I'll see you inside.